G'day this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. So today's video we're going to talk about uh, player profile hyperspace travel improvements in Avorian 2.0. Now they've released a, a post about it of the changes, upcoming changes that are coming. And it's got a few people uh, talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a mixed view on this topic so this will be interesting to try and cover and um, there are there are a few questions when it comes to what's been released but anyway we'll, we'll jump straight into this video so we're going to talk about the player profile that is coming into Avorian 2.0 so they're adding a player profile basically it's an achievements page that you're going to have in Avorian that you'll be able to keep track of uh, what's what to do in the galaxy basically this is really to sort of help new players out give them a bit of a guide on where to go and things that you can achieve maybe you know found a station or found a mine or go and attack some pirates it could have those sorts of achievements in there currently you, you have steam achievements that let you know what you've achieved in Avorian but this will be inside Avorian itself so the the achievements and or oh, the player profile they're calling it um you know it's a good idea even though i don't really get into achievements much to be honest but it's a good idea you know i, I like it it gives some sort of direction for people coming into the game because you got to think about new players and trying to promote the game uh, towards new players i mean if you can think back when you first jumped into the game like uh, i mean we've been playing for a while for some of those veterans and um when we first jumped in the game there was no tutorials there was nothing sort of to guide you about what you're supposed to do you know and the amount of the mistakes i made you know when i first built a ship man i used to smash into asteroids i had no idea what i was doing i was completely lost but you know over time i learned and read as much as i possibly can so having a player profile is a really good idea for people coming into the game so i'm i'm hoping they pretty it up a lot more than what they've got there but anyway i think it's a great idea so hyperspace jump improvements so they've made improvements to the current system at the moment and it something goes something like this they've stated that they've massively reduced hyperspace cooldown times they've reduced hyperspace jump gains from hyperspace cores and upgrades and they've put it don't worry overall travel times will be a lot shorter even with the reduced uh, jump range it will be easier to travel to sectors that are further away than your jump range so jumping will increase will require less energy in total and instead need a big spike in energy overall for very short periods of time that's why we're also greatly improving battery blocks so battery blocks if you know in the game are kind of underutilized at the moment they're not really utilized so basically what they're saying is when your hyperspace jump we're reducing the jump ranges we're reducing the overall power that was required for those jump ranges but you'll need to have a lot of energy in short periods of time in order to do the jumps basically so that's where the battery uh, blocks come into it you'll be using you'll be storing a lot of power and using that um, in between hyperspace jumps so why are they making these changes well basically at the moment uh, the jump the jump ranges you can jump pretty far in the galaxy at the moment it's not so much the range it's the loading times and the loading screens so at the moment you're getting long load times in between uh, long jumps whenever you jump around in the galaxy which you've got nothing to do in between right there's not 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 a lot you can do you, you just got to sit there and twiddle your thumbs and pretty much wait for that cooldown to happen before you can make another hyperspace jump the other the other side of the coin is to again it comes back to new players so new players making the mistake of getting stranded in a sector they've jumped to and they're not they haven't built their ship correctly and they've got no energy that's it they've jumped and then they've got to wait you know 30 years so this is sort of helping curve that for new players by reducing energy required so is this a good thing yes it is it is a good thing i think i, I think it's um that learning curve will will be lessened for new players and reducing overall hyperspace cooldown is a good thing overall however there are questions about how this has been implemented and there's mixed reviews um, with people commenting on this there are questions about this and we don't know how this works until we it's actually implemented into Avorian 2.0 but there are questions around hyperspace travel and the way they've implemented this and it pretty much goes along the lines of this how 
much have they reduced hyperspace jump ranges? You know, how much of a reduction is it? Are we talking about, is it 20, 30, 40, 50%? How much have they actually reduced the hyperspace jump ranges? And how will this affect someone like, as a trader? So if you're a, you're a trader and you rely on long space jumps, how's this gonna affect you, you know? Uh, that's a different type of gameplay. How much time saving are we getting from the overall reduced uh, travel times? So how much of a time saver are we getting? I mean, it's a good thing that they're going in this direction, but I'm just wondering uh, what the overall picture looks like, you know, of, of a reduced waiting time when it comes to loading screens. And of course, there's a big question about the loading times, having more of them. So you're gonna jump shorter distances and you're gonna have more loading screens. How does that look in the big picture? You know, is that gonna be interactive? Is it gonna be fun to play? I mean, they've got a video there showing you and demonstrating what they're trying to go for. You know, is this gonna be engaging? Is this gonna is this a better path to go down than the current system we have? Um, I, I don't know. I mean it's worth having a look and having a look at it. There is one benefit, big benefit besides the shorter load times, of course. Uh, and no one wants downtime when it comes to loading screen, but there is a big benefit. If you build a big ship. Right, you build a large vessel, all right, a big behemoth, a big Battlestar Galactica type ship, and you can jump from across the galaxy, right? You've built this thing and it can, it, it's loaded up for hyperspace calls, right? And you can jump across the galaxy. With a ship like that, you don't always use the capability of that jump all the time. So you might jump five squares or 10 squares more regularly than you'll jump 150 squares. So having shorter jumps and then waiting six hours for that cooldown, well, I mean, it's exaggeration, but you get where I'm going with this. If it reduces that cooldown on those short to intermediate jumps, that's great. I think that's a positive, really. You don't have to wait very long. But anyway, it's it's interesting to see um, how this is all going to get implemented. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the hyperspace jump travel improvements and also the player profile. They're very interesting changes coming up. I, I think they at least are going in the right direction with the hyperspace travel improvements at least it's a yeah you know they know that this is an issue and they've always been working on it they've always worked on it so i'm sure that if it doesn't work out they'll make changes to it to improve it you know to keep player attention you know so anyway if you like this sort of content don't forget to subscribe uh, leave a like and a comment below and um yeah i'll see you out in the galaxy okay then bye